Andrew, how long have you been exercising for now? Uh, this is four weeks now. Feel it, first month. Feeling better? Heck, well, not better. Okay, we'll give everyone a little bit of a more insight what you're doing now. Yeah. Some a little bit of a warm up now, Andrew, okay? Mm -hmm. Just a guess now. Uh, shoulder blades back. The shoulder blades are key to get your back healthier. And like that, and all the way back. Stretch all the way back. Is that feeling okay? Oh, yeah. Stretch and get the shoulder blades right back. Shoulder yeah. blades really important, okay? Get them in and stretch yeah. out. How's that feeling? That's brilliant. Okay, we'll start off with some arm dips now, okay? Just right. on your back of your arms. Right. Just to start off just nice and slow. Yeah. Try for five there, get, try and get through a lot of exercises. Right. Just to make it feel better. Anyone can try this in the house. Oh, that's it, nice and slow. Nice and slow, that's good. Feeling back of your arms and you're yeah. starting off well, that's good? Yeah. Okay. These things as well, kettlebells you start to do, they work the body a little bit differently. So start a kettlebell swing, just nice and slow and up to shoulder height, okay? Okay. And looking forward, if you look forward, it keeps your back straight, doesn't approach pressure. There and just the shoulder height, arm there, and get a bit of a swing. That's it, arm there, that's better. And keep looking forward at all times, and do show in perfect form. You start, if you don't lose weights, you're not going to reshape your body. This talk of going on treadmills, and all these things for hours doesn't work. You will change your body by using resistance. Okay, Andrew? This one. So you're going to straight into upright row. Just keep your elbows up. Just nice and slow. That's it. And nice and slow. Keep your elbows up. That's the good. And down. So you're working that shoulder area. As you get older as well, that causes a lot of pain around the shoulder area. If you work that area, it creates a pain-free area for your body and you're getting stronger and you're feeling better. How was that feeling, Andrew? Okay, Good. this one now, we're talking about dumbbell row, your back, your second biggest muscle group, so important. Just nice and slow. Nice and slow. And just down, um, nice and slow, Andrew. Slow, controlled movements. If you go too fast, it's not going to work. And I'll be bonus for Andrew now. Try to look forward what you're doing, Andrew. If you look, look forward, it's going to make the back a lot better. Feeling a lot better, yeah? Yes. Okay, Andrew, let's put it back down. Okay, we're moving on to some dumbbells as well, okay? A lot of people buy dumbbells, don't really know how to work them. So we're going to start off this one now, okay? Um, we're just going to try some curls, Andrew. Okay. Just nice and slow, okay? Just nice and slow for your bicep. And nice and slow. One, and nice and slow. That's done. Come down, straight down, that's it. That's better. Nice and slow, nice and slow, and three, nice and slow. So you're working your biceps, but what we're trying to encourage is working more muscle groups in one go, okay? So your biceps are a tiny part of your body. This is why we go on for bigger and better exercises. So just shoulder press, shoulder press, Andrew. Just nice and slow, okay? Just nice and slow, that's it. And nice and slow. One, nice and slow, and we're done. And again. And two. And again, one more. That's good, Andrew. That's good. Okay, shoulders. Okay, and back. Let's play this one now. So you go into that position and drive it up now with thighs. So you make it a more complete movement, okay? So you're there, and then push up. That's good. And nice and slow. And down. And then take it down. And look up as well. Look up. Look forward when you're doing it. How's that feeling now? Brilliant. Okay, that's great exercise. You can start doing that. Okay, good stuff. Okay, ball work as well is always underrated. Working right to left side of your body. And that coordination, you usually teach your kids, or the kids have naturally. You've got to get it back in your life yourself. I know you like this one, Andrew. Just over. Any right. football will do to start with. But you see if you do this. Get more agile in the house, right in front of this camera now. Okay, just nice and slow. So, it's up and there. Just up and there. Nice and slow, and Nice and slow. And now we'll turn it into this little bit of squat when you're doing it as well. One, <laughs> two, it's a little bit awkward. You're not laying about coordination, okay? Coordination, but it's making him sweat. It's making him work a little bit harder. <laughs> okay, and this one now. Okay. So all we all remember, playing football, rugby when we were kid. Just up on that ball. Just up and there. There, try and get this. There, first ball, and. And then get right. into a squat, okay? Okay. Let's try there. Come on, let's go again. Okay. One, and there. Two, three. Look at the coordination. It's all coming back, yeah? Andrew, on fire, fly in. Week five, fly in. Feel good. That's it. That's good. Okay, okay. Andrew has had a lot of problems with your knees and you. Knees. This is why you've got to avoid these 
tremendous jumping up and down exercises you see in a lot of videos because you're going to crush your knees. You've got to be sensible and take your time. So you can't start a more advanced workout until you do the basics right. So I'm just going to try this one. So you just up there, on there, and then we're going to hit some speed. One, two. Your arm speed as well. It takes your leg speed. Come on, see what you can do. I like it that you believe in me more than I believe in you. Belief, self-belief is the most important thing. You can do it on you. Come on, get those arms going. You think you're like a professional. Come on, you're a professional athlete. You're feeling better. Get those arms going, Ant. That's it. That's good. That's it. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this is exercise now. Anyone can do it. And during week five, he's feeling amazing. What's one bit of advice you've had a diff you know, it's hard to start with. What's one step in that journey you want to make? Put, put in people's mind about the self belief. What would you tell them? You can do it. What? Why you do you can do it? What was the biggest barrier for you stopping you doing it? Me. 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 Bad place, bad situation, bad history, bad everything. And it's fix the mind, fix the body, fix the body, fix the mind. You've got to do it. you just got to get out there and do something. And is the hardest step getting your trainers on and walking in for the first time? No, the hardest step was having the minerals to pick up the mobile and phone you and talk to you. There we are. And that's where the journey started. The journey didn't start when I walked in. The journey started when I went on Google. Yeah. And I got your number. And that's where my journey started. Because four hours later, I was here. And we're fired up and yeah. making a difference. I want this man to inspire you. This man to live in proof. And you want to change your lives in your mind and in your body. Come on! Come on, come on.